has brought us here to Maya Bay and I'm truly surprised guys there are a few people out on the beach that beat us this morning but I can literally count them. There's 10 people. Welcome to the beautiful islands of Kopipi. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking you on a speedboat tour through some of the most famous islands in the area to include Maya Bay and the famous Kopipi Lagoon. By the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what to expect when booking a tour here in Thailand to visit these incredible islands. And I'm also gonna be letting you guys know if Maya Bay is actually worth visiting or is it just full of hype? Join me for an awesome adventure from here in Thailand. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another beautiful day on the island of Koh Phi Phi. Now today I'm going to be taking you guys around on one of these beautiful long tail boats. Actually, this one right here, that's our captain. He's getting the boat prepped. And I'm going to be taking you around to visit many of the different islands to include the famous Maya Bay. Now what are you gonna learn in this video? Well, we're gonna be able to visit a bunch of the beaches so that you can determine which one you want to visit and which one you wanna spend most of your time in when traveling here. And we're also going to be seeing if Maya Bay is actually worth the hype or not because Maya Bay is one of those destinations that most people literally travel to from Phuket and miss out on everything else. Maya Bay is where everybody posts their Instagram photos. That's where everybody goes to make their honeymoon vacation. So I'm gonna show you guys today if it's actually worth it or not. Now right now it is extremely early but that is one of the benefits of staying on the main island of Koh Phi Phi overnight is that you can wake up nice and early and beat the crowd. So I have a feeling that we're gonna be able to explore many of these islands to ourselves and I'm super, super excited about that and super excited to bring you guys along with me. So join me for an awesome adventure. Now one of the benefits of waking up nice and early for your island tour here in Koh Phi Phi is that you're gonna be able to enjoy the first few minutes out on the ocean basically all alone. You won't see any tourist boats and you'll be able to catch that nice orange glow from the sunrise. It is truly special and I highly recommend booking your tour nice and early. Only a short 15, 20 minute boat ride that was absolutely incredible has brought us here to Maya Bay. And I'm truly surprised guys. There are a few people out on the beach that beat us this morning, but I can literally count them. There's 10 people. I've watched videos of Maya Bay like many of you are right now prior to coming on out and it is completely full. So it definitely is a lot convenient to book a tour and get out here nice and early before the crowds really start coming in. That was actually the same we witnessed yesterday in Koh Phi Phi. Around midday, all the tour boats were coming in, all the cruise boats, and it got completely full. But, wow, incredible place. We're surrounded by some of the most incredible rock formations I've ever seen, and the sand is so, so white. I can't believe I'm here. Just made it to the entrance of Maya Bay Beach. Now you are gonna get greeted by a National Guard officer at the dock and you do have to pay an entrance fee which is 200 baht per person. And there are some pretty strict rules here to protect the ecosystem because Maya Bay was completely shut down and off limits for many years because, well, the tourism brought a lot of pollution, a lot of contamination to the beach and the government had to shut it down to preserve it. So real quickly before we make our way to the beach, let me tell you guys some of the rules. You can't remove any coral, shells, marine life from the national park. You can't use sunscreens because they're harmful to the corals. You can't litter, you can't feed the fishes, you can't use drones, you can't drop anchors on coral reefs, and you can't swim. Yes, here in Maya Bay, you cannot swim. That is extremely sad because the water looks so beautiful. However, they do that to preserve all of the marine life that lies underneath. So we've made it here to the beach and I got a couple mixed emotions. I'm impressed, it is extremely beautiful, but it is a bit sad that you can't enter the water. However, 
there is a plus side to that. There's actually a bunch of sharks here in the water and you, all it takes is for you to get like right there where it's wet and you can see all of them swimming past. I've tried to get a few shots, but I'm not sure if they're actually going to work here on this camera. But yes, I think that's probably another reason why they don't allow you to go into the water. There are plenty of sharks of all sizes and it's quite crazy to see. I've never seen a shark in its natural habitat like that before. But yeah, incredible. Now, as far as the beach is concerned, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It is extremely beautiful. It is extremely clean, well taken care of, but it is a bit sad that, you know, you can't swim. You literally come here to take Instagram shots, pictures, and that's about it. As far as it being a beach that I would go out of my way for, I can't say that I would go out of my way to come to Maya Bay. However, a lot of the surrounding beaches, man, the island of Kopipi, the beach that we visited there was incredible. But I mean, if you're here in Thailand and you're on Kopipi, you're already here. You might as well come and see this place for yourself. And that's how I feel about it. However, I definitely like the beach on Kopipi a lot more. And I think that's because, well, you can, you know, rent a nice little beach chair, relax, spend the whole day there, jump in for a nice swim. And yeah, that's my point of view. But then again, we all have our opinions. We all have um, the things that we like, the things that we look for. And like most places in the world, I say you come here, experience it for yourself and leave with your own opinion. You might come here and be like, what the hell was Chris talking about? This is the best thing ever. Or you might come here and be like, damn, I should have listened to Chris and not wasted my money. However, the best part about booking a tour like I booked today with Dugia in Thailandia is that you're gonna see many different islands. We're gonna have opportunities to swim. So why not come here, take your beautiful photos, take your videos, make your memories and then leave and go enjoy a beach where you can actually jump on in and swim. But yeah, guys, everything happens for a reason. I mean, this is off limits because we humans ruin everything. Let's just be real. We ruin everything um, on the way in here. There's a beautiful trail that tells you to stay on it and there's cigarette butts everywhere, plastic. And this place literally just opened six months ago. So um, yeah, we don't take care of nothing. What else could we expect? We're gonna enjoy a bit more time here in Maya Bay and then we'll continue on with our tour. I must say I love how organized everything is here on the island man leaving Maya Bay you got the National Guard guy on a megaphone calling our boat and wow all of this is incredible super super comfortable easy to get around easy to navigate I love it I might start booking tours everywhere I go simply just to yeah, have the hassle-free, worry-free, amazing time that I'm always looking for. Just made it to our second stop and we are in Pilip Bay and this is incredible guys. It's a crystally like turquoise color laguna and we're surrounded by some of the most incredible rock formations I've ever seen in my life. And check out this amazing breakfast that Dugia and Thailandia prepared for us. This is incredible. We got some watermelon, some pineapple. I love the way they sliced it up too. And with this view, it doesn't get much better than this guys. This is living. This already in my opinion, has blown every expectation I've had of the trip away. Incredible. bunch of fishes under us it was super nice we snorkeled a little bit ah what a day what a day so far now that in my opinion was so much more incredible than Maya Bay but that's just my personal opinion and we still have so many more spots to go Just got dropped off on this beautiful island. What an amazing ride. I laid down on that boat, took a nap. We were literally cruising for an hour. Now we did stop by at Monkey Beach, but there was no monkey. So we decided to just 
continue on with our day because we don't want to stop there and waste a bit more of our time because we're, we've been beating everybody to most of the locations. Now there are quite a bit of tourists here at this island, but it is beautiful. We just found ourselves a nice tree to prop ourselves under and we're about to have some lunch. They prepared for us a beautiful pad caprao with some water bottles. I'm excited. Great vibes. Great place. Oh, wow. That nap on that boat. Amazing. I don't even no words. That was exactly what I needed. Wow, guys. So we just pulled into a tiny little hole in between the rocks trying to find monkeys. And unfortunately, there's no monkeys. So this little um, crevice is known as Monkey Island, but there are none, unfortunately, due to, well, the lack of tourism. They've all left to other parts of the island where, you know, they can feed off of tourists. I know that that is not something great, something good, but that is essentially how they've grown accustomed to live after so many years of tourism here on the island. I mean, Koh Phi is one of the most visited places in all of Thailand. And for the last 40 years or so, tourists have been coming to Monkey Island to feed monkeys. But right now our captain is pointing over in this direction. And there might be some monkeys around, but I don't see none yet. However, guys, I don't care if I see a monkey or not. Look at those rock formations. There is nothing, nothing that can impress me more than those things. This is truly a special place. How are you feeling so far? Happy. I see monkeys. I see monkeys. What? Guys, I see monkeys, no joke. Wow, guys, what an amazing trip that was. Seriously, one of the best tours I've had in Thailand so far. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I like to keep it real and transparent here on this channel. Maya Bay, in my opinion, was nothing too special. Very beautiful beach, but I feel like you got the same amazing, stunning views from right here on the mainland of Kopiti. Now, as far as the whole boat tour, that was incredible. Island hopping, cruising, seeing some of the oldest rock formations in the world, incredible and our guide was the best. That's one of the best things I've loved so far about booking all of my tours with Dugia in Thailandia is that all of the guides are always so respectable, respectable, so knowledgeable, and yeah, they're just so kind. Like right now, the monkey beach wasn't even in our itinerary and he literally pulled over because we told him we wanted to see monkeys. So overall, I highly recommend the tour. You know what, I highly recommend going to Maya Bay. Go there, check it out, leave with your own opinion. Maybe you'll be there. Maybe you'll get there, like I said earlier, and be like, what the hell was Chris talking about? I love this so much. But for now, I think I'm gonna enjoy my time here in Kopipi. We got another night here, and I'm just gonna relax. I'm gonna go get me another 50 baht chair underneath the palm tree and just sit here and maybe drink a coconut. Who knows? But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to subscribe if you enjoyed this. Like this video and leave me a comment down below telling me what was your favorite part about today. And if you visited Maya Bay before, let me know. Was it different before? I'm curious to hear about your guys' experience. And if you managed to make it here after this video, let me know if I was wrong or if I was absolutely right. Later, guys.